Whoa, it feels good to be back here. So here we are back again after a really really long break again I don't want to make any excuses anymore or anything but like it's just like the fourth or fifth vlog in this year I can't really remember it so yeah um, there was quite a bit of a break but as you know I'm working now full-time for a video production company marketing company so I'm editing every day I'm doing videos every day and like also because I have focused the last couple of weeks even like I would say couple of months to do like these short little movies where I put a little bit more of effort in and it was also <laughs> trying to increase my skills um, a little bit more but anyway so we are back today in Hangzhou with a vlog from the Hefang Street um, it took me actually more than a year to find this place uh, so I didn't really was looking for it but in May um, I got in touch with booking.com the well-known website every one of you guys knows that I used it also a couple of times before um, they found me in my website and on LinkedIn my profile and yeah so they reached out to me and um, I got a contract with them as a freelance photographer here in Hangzhou and so I also got like my first job it was a photography job about nine pictures here in Hangzhou there were like nine locations and yeah, so I did that and one of these locations was also here the Hefang Street. So I've known about that place, but the thing is, I don't know, I've never went here. And for this job I went here, so, so for this job I went here and I was really, uh, yeah, impressed by that place. So I thought like, now when we are back in the vlog, Let's use this Sunday afternoon and just film the Hefang Street a little bit. It's really, really impressive. See what's going on and like keep you guys also a little bit updated what happened in the last couple of weeks, months. But first, yeah, I think first, first I need some water, okay? <laughs> okay, now we are ready. Start slow. Yeah, I know you're mine. I need you, so I'll just start slow. thing that is like every day here in Hangzhou in June and July you can be sure as much Sun as you can see it will rain this day it will rain like the past few weeks it's raining every day every day when I'm leaving the office at 5 or 6 it starts to rain and it's not like easy rain like this here right now so this is just the beginning it rains really hard usually it rains really hard by the way, um, old ancient Chinese street and 
of course, it must be a McDonald's. recording this now just two minutes after I did like the last statement and yeah see I told you it doesn't stay like with light rain it's getting really really heavy now so I guess um, I have to take a break now from the walk here and um, here's a nice food court so I will spend some time here it's getting crazy man session is uh, over now so I think it's time to move over to the Wushan Square the place I mentioned before I also took uh, some pictures there for booking.com so there were these two locations here that were pretty close um, the other locations I captured for them they were pretty far away from each other so let's move over to Wushan Square and um, I don't know let's give an update there I think uh, what else is going on I'm a little bit scared now to go up there to the Wushan Square because I have to go up a hill and it's pretty steep and the other thing is it's really really slippery there even like last time when I went there um, so it didn't rain but I also fell down with my bike I wanted to park it um, and so it, I was super slow so nothing really happened but like it is slippery there so first I have to dry this and then wish me luck that everything goes well good with the focus I hope so yeah it looks looks good from here so let's start with the update about like the whole thing here on YouTube so the past few weeks I posted all these videos H O M E home um, and like the whole story behind that is that when I was back home in Germany for the spring festival in February and March like I had all this footage that I recorded because I wanted to do like a little movie about home and like something cinematic like with this slow and so on um, but in the end like it was just like more like short episodes so I got this idea to make them like four episodes um, less than two minutes which is also like it's these videos are enough like if it's just like two minutes um, I think and I wanted to tell also a bigger story with this whole thing because like I, when I created like my first ideas I thought like why not doing a whole movie about your different homes where you have been so far like to all the places you went before and connecting this to your whole life story so far like I'm 28 years old now so I thought like probably um, at least a quarter of my life is already passed so I thought like it's time to do something like this I don't know so I was really focused on this stuff um, especially like the big movie um, I spent so much time on it because like I hate to make decisions and it was so hard to find like the right pictures the right footage especially like the old footage uh, when I was a kid or when I was like in university and so on and like should I take this video should I take this video that I recorded with the phone because like the, all this stuff was also not really high quality and then I also wanted to do like these 
some of these pictures like from the 2D like making them look 3D and it took me so much time also because I really dived into After Effects a little bit for this movie to create some titles and some of these effects which was pretty good because I improved my whole After Effects skills with this movie um, a little bit um, so th I didn't have any so at least I have some basics now but it also was a cool thing uh, because I realized I really like to do some kind of more of these little stories. So the future plan is now to also focus more on the vlogs again. So I won't promise anything, but um, I really want to make some more vlogs because like the whole thing why I started these vlogs is just like to save memories, to save like the adventures or the experience that I made like during the last 18, 17, 18, 16 months. Yeah, and this didn't really happen like in the last three months uh, from April, May, June and now to July. So my plan now is to do some more of the vlogs um, and also trying to do some of these other videos because I really like that stuff. But with the vlogs I think it's also time to do like quantity over quality. So let's see where this whole journey will go. Because obviously I'm also... Um, editing a lot um, at work. Um, if you want to see some of that stuff, you cannot see everything because not everything is on YouTube. Um, but these videos you can see, I will link them in the description here. And otherwise, a lot of them are also like on Chinese social media and so on. So yeah, but I'm editing really <laughs> a lot. But it's, it's, it's amazing because I can improve my skills and this is what I want to do. So um, it's great. Um, it's a I think it's a big step um, with this whole video thing um, because I can just learn every day. I learn every day so much and um, it's also so interesting to learn more about marketing because you can create really good content, you can make the best videos, but if you don't know how to do a really well marketing, the best videos are sometimes, in, in, especially in these days where everyone can post this stuff here, um, it's really hard. I think for for now it's enough because there is so much other stuff I could do but like I think that's a good reason to make another vlog so I would say we'll see us in the next one bye bye so I'll just talk slow